Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, one of my viewers, uh, his name is Ray, he's up in Canada. He's got a South Bend 11, very similar to mine. And uh, he was putting a quick change post on it and commenting about how he was going to have to make a T-nut. And then he described how he was going to do it on his lathe. Well, in the past I've always had a friend with a mill and uh, had them make it for me. And, uh, but what he described was pretty simple and it's, it's too good not to share. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, I got a mill now, so this is not a big issue for me, but it's, it's still a good tip. I made this T-nut, and that's a good T-nut, and I don't know what I did with that thread. Oh, I know what it was. This one came with the quick change post, and I just milled it down. But that's a metric thread. I don't have any metric taps. But that's how thick I need to make it, and that's about five-eighths of an inch. Uh... But I'm going to cut some metric threads on my SAE American lathe. And it's not going to be exact, but it'll work. Uh, but I need this bolt to test the threads with. So I'm going to have to find a different way to mount my tool post. So I've got this other T-nut I made. And this is probably going to be the hard part for viewers that might not have a spare T-nut, but this is a uh, 3 8 16 thread in this. So I'm going to mount my post with a, the only long 3 8 16 bolt I got, carriage bolt. This is just temporary, but it'll work. Just like that. Okay, I've got a piece of two and a quarter inch stock in my chuck there. I did my best to make it straight. Uh, it was rough cut on both sides, so it's just kind of a, a feel thing. I think it's fairly straight, but I'm going to face one surface of that. Now I'm going to put a spacer bar in my chuck, like that, flip it over. This bar is just to make sure it's square in there. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just close. Yeah, it looks straight on the back side. Now we need to measure this right here. Let's call it 0.9. I want to turn down the surface of that so I got a protrusion that's uh, 0.9 in diameter. First I'm going to face that. I need to take it down to that thickness right there to a diameter of the width of the slot. So, I need to make a ledge, this thickness right here, which is 0 0.28, 0.25 would probably be alright, and I need to make it this wide, that's the width of my slot. So, I need to turn it down to that diameter right there. I can see the center on this pretty good. I've got a mark there to go by. I if I can Like I said, it needs to be this width right here. Or a little less. Not quite 
quite there. This is not very critical. A little less. Okay, there's the diameter I need to be at. I'm just wasting steel off. Okay, I got a metric thread here. No idea what it is. Don't really care what it is. It's about 16 threads per inch. It's not exact, but it's close. The root diameter of the threads is about 4.9. So I'm going to drill uh, oh, over 4.9. 4.95. So it's just a little under half inch. So I'm going to drill a half inch hole and cut 16 threads per inch and it'll fit. The oil sure helps. Okay, now I'm getting ready to cut internal threads. And I gotta set my combine at 29 and a half. I can set it at 29 and a half here in reverse, or I can feed at 29 and a half this way. I think I'm gonna do it like this. It's a little bit of potential for running into the chuck, but I think it'll be alright. I think it'll One or two more passes, we'll get it. Okay, I need to mark where I want to cut this. And I'll cut it a little big and just grind it until it fits. Hmm. Still not going to hold it very good. You know what? I could grind all that off. Okay, you can use a hacksaw or you can grind that. I got a really good grinder. I'm going to grind it. That's how you make a tea nut without a mill. Uh, I made that out of inch and a quarter, actually inch and three sixteenths. I don't know what kind of oddball size that is. Uh, but you could make it out of two inch, it'd probably it'd just be about that much smaller. It'd still be enough surface area. Well, that about wraps it up. 
Thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe. Ring that bell.